Last time on the Eurocentrist. Tokyo drifting right around <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. fascist Europe, just narrowly avoiding danger. Uh, and in 1922, Boy. when things with Q were getting serious, Anais wrote in her li uh, diary, quote, Love and labor, that is now the sum of my life. I don't mean that we get completely rid of experience or per uh, painful experiences or sorrowful experiences, but that we don't remain fixed and obsessed with just one experience. Do you know what? I, I'm, I'm starting to warm to her now. Mm -hmm. I, I'm starting, like, after the beginning quote, I, I didn't know what to expect. <laughs> Little wonder, then, that Anais started an affair with both of him and his wife June. Oh. Yeah, when I say it's a quote, I say it's a quote. Uh -oh. yes. <laughs> when Hugh Geiler read her diary one day and confronted her with all the, her love affairs, she managed to convince him that they were only fictions. <laughs> Gaslight gatekeep <laughs> girl boss, Jesus. She is literally gaslight gatekeeping a girl bossing. <laughs> now for the really saucy part. What do you what? mean? That wasn't the really saucy part. Oh, uh oh. Man. In June 1933, <laughs> Anais met her father, Joaquin, in a hotel in Valescure no. oh, near no. Nîmes oh, in no. southern France, a trip she would put down in her diary as the father story. Though he acted, quote, cold and formal at first, Anais found herself dazzled by his intellect and found him to be a, quote, complete synthesis of all her lovers. No! No, no, no! She, she fucking old boyed herself. No. <laughs> According to her diary, no. he in turn called his 30-year-old daughter the woman of his life and regretted not being able to kiss her the way he wanted to. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! It's Sigmund Freud. <laughs> if he had just met this person, would have had the the. He wouldn't have needed to have put in his years of work. He just needed to have met her for five minutes. And I, gone just, like, right, I just, this I is just, this is the Iceland relapse into alcoholism. <laughs> This is Jesus Christ. He would have like this is this is like the most Freudian thing. Like anyone who's like no Sigmund Freud has no basis for what he does. Was they, should Freud? Hear, they should they should hear the story of this. <laughs> but, okay, maybe he had some right ideas. Yeah. Like, maybe this, is, this maybe never this is meet why your Sig heroes. <laughs> I was gonna ask, did they ever meet? Because they were alive at the same yeah. time. Yeah, weren't they? Yeah, that's where she. Yeah, she met him in Nîmes in southern France. She met. Yeah. Sigmund she Freud? met Sigmund Freud. Oh, not Sigmund Freud. The yeah, dad. Not the, no, no, sorry. No, I don't like, care. No. Oh, Wait, Sigmund I need Freud. To know. Sorry, I knew sorry, why sorry. this was going if a mile Sigmund off. Sigmund Freud like. okay. met this woman. This is where all of his theories came from. Guys, we, we have to power through. There's okay. two quotes. There's and, uh, two quotes. <laughs> Uh, I, all right, okay, con I continuing. Uh, I need to mentally prepare yeah, myself. Yeah. I'm sorry. Let's do this. This uh, is so disgusting. What transpired next is described well in Roth Charnock's article on the father story. Quote. One page later in the father story, Anais Nin describes how timid and unwilling, yet passionately moved, and with a strange violence, Please she lifts don't. her negligee and lies over her father. My yielding was immense, with my whole being, with only that core of fear, she writes. Leaving her father that first night, Nin feels herself poisoned by this union, with a sense of guilt that weighs down on her joy. I had the man I loved with my mind, I had him in my arms, in my body. Nin muses, yet because of the simil similitudes between us, my pleasure was atrophied. She... <laughs> I hated banging my dad. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I, I think we need another duck fact. I think, I, I think we need another duck fact. Yeah, yeah, uh, hit us with another duck. I know writers who use subtext and they're all cowards. Duck fact! Did you know that ducks <laughs> fuck their parents? The ducks. <laughs> <laughs> duck fact! There we go. That was duck. <laughs> that was. This has been duck fact. <laughs> this has been. Oh, you were expecting this to take make you forget <laughs> no, that, yeah, we, that the subject I, of our podcast just fucked was, their dad. This was the first incest story. This wow. is the first. I, I the knew first there was going to be many. no because we got awfully close with uh, with uh, the Roman guy. I'm happy because that he I was, banged I was his here his, for this his brothers who died wife. He no, that does not count as incest. Mm, that's, that's an in law. That, yeah, it's still it's gross, close, yes. but it's 
it's not that's it's why not I said that's incest. why I said that's the closest we've gotten well, so far well we finally got there woohoo look Hooray. at us Again, that's why I said the 13th episode is gonna be cursed so she does she as she's giving these quotes uh -huh. does she know at this point that this is her dad oh yeah of course she does why? she said it was her dad she said she why is she meeting him and banging him no why why is well, she <laughs> reminiscing on this so fondly huh. well, she said she fondly. felt guilty my pleasure she is atrophy is not you could not waterboard this information out of <laughs> <laughs> and yet okay she is uh so patreon goal uh 500 bucks or more a month and we will waterboard Ashlyn. <laughs> i thought you're gonna say we will fuck our parents <laughs> yeah. if you I, give us 500 you, no, no, I, 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 don't waterboard what you will you will confess to things you didn't even do. Well, All yeah, right. that's often what happens when you waterboard people. <laughs> or torture in general. Yes, yeah. quote. This was torture. Uh, the following morning, Shirky Nin senses his daughter's hesitancy about continuing the affair, but wins her over by convincing her that they are living out something tremendous, fantastic, unique. Wow, he is also the worst world's worst dad yeah world's worst dad I like oh my, my daughter is feeling a bit weird about us fucking yesterday how and, about i'm like super and, cool and, and he, chill and he knows yeah yeah they're both aware that this is they both know yeah they're, right. bo they're both aware of what's going on he said that's why he said i like something like, i wish i could kiss kiss her i yeah. thought this was before no they... no this is the father this yeah. is the father saying this so, he's like the donald yeah. trump of the that yeah, time yeah, yeah. oh yeah. my god he's living but, all but of donald trump's dreams being receptive to <laughs> yeah no he's living all of Do donald trump's genes what the fuck no okay i'm sorry this is crazy right no this is not just crazy this is what happened before he left yeah, I, I'm uh, curious now. I am, I'm horrified, but curious. I, I know for oh, a fact shit, yeah. there's no go other badly. explanation unless this is not the first time mm. this has happened. Because this is what no one would ever meet, knowingly meet their parent. This is not normal. No, no, this is really fucked up. This yeah. is extremely yeah, this is awful. I thought that as you were saying all of this, that they <laughs> didn't know. Your brain broke. No, I no, thought that no, this no. was old yeah, boy no, shit. This is deliberate. I thought they found out afterwards. But no, they no. A wear boy. It's they, a wear boy. They know. They were completely aware. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, awful. She's she. Oh no. <laughs> oh, this is not a girl boss moment. No, this is uh, I, Queen. This is not a cast. No. We do not stand. Yeah. You're you're. <laughs> this is. Uh, the quote is not finished, but oh, anyway, what? Yeah. It's not. <laughs> no. It's not finished. Apparently, okay, she's not finished. Should we end, uh, an should we end on a duck fact? Uh, no, no, no. No, we've already keep, ended. Keep, already those, ended. keep those duck facts because it okay. might get more fucked up. We okay. don't know yet. I'm All just right. going to say nine out of ten ducks don't condone banging your father. <sighs> what about that one All right. duck? Throughout the holiday... Throughout the holiday, they Should continue we? to sleep with each other, forging what Nin refers to as a pact of similarity through their shared personality traits and past experiences. Nin appears at times deeply flattered by her father's attentions, but also returns on several occasions throughout the story to the fact that she feels a deeper inner holding back when having sex with her father. When the, whole, uh, when the holiday comes to an end, watching her father leave at the station, she describes herself as inert and in a leaden mood, unfocused and bewildered. Yet in her next entry, she describes herself as ensorcelled <laughs> by her father you, with a great ensorcelled? craving for him. What does that mean? I don't know. Ensorced, probably, oh. like sorcerer, like... In, uh, oh, like enchanted. Yeah, enchanted, ensorcelled. She's a, the the gen the gender give her neutral. what credit was credit due. This is the <laughs> very classy way of writing a pot incest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to go to therapy it, listening to this. It, <clears throat> Yet in her next entry, she describes herself as ensorcelled by her father with a great craving for him. Looking back on the holiday, Nin writes, it was in my flights with my father that I had found joy. It was looking back on a holiday. This is right. This I <laughs> it was this a, like a decent, review. Yeah. decent holiday. Two out of yeah. five stars. Uh, <laughs> <I w> <laughs> <laughs> not bang again no no yeah. a trip pretty, advisory pretty review yeah. yeah i fucked my dad here it was a really yeah. great time <laughs> no uh, <do> I, <laughs> <laughs> i'm the riviera yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> five out of five yeah. i'm not just saying that on yelp like I'm great really bad hotel but fucked yeah. my father here <laughs> five out of five stars i'm just like i'm i'm sorry i keep having to remind myself that they both know because this yeah, doesn't so this it's doesn't awful. make yeah. 
I, yeah. I can't be like. Oh, it's crazy. I keep thinking like, well, I, did they not think about how yeah, yeah. like, oh, he the disappeared exactly shit. 15 years yeah. away. And no, but they, they're just both aware. Mm -hmm. None of they, they know. I have to like, keep reminding myself. Yep. They're just. Next quote. Oh, God. Fuck. Next quote. What is the relationship with. His, I mean, he left. So. What the, but what was the relationship between her mom and him? Oh, I don't, I don't even want to know. Uh, quote, we'll find out later. Yeah. <laughs> quote, timid, unwilling, frightened, strange, violent, awkward, inert. It is clear that Nin does not feel entirely good about having sex with her father. But neither does she... Uh, she's good. writing in the third person about herself now. But neither does she feel she entirely bad. She just had sex bad. with her dad. Of course Young she is. She's getting dissociative identity disorder. Uh, how else would you... How else would you cope? No. She also describes herself as passionately moved, joyful, amused, touched and amazed by this encounter with her father, which unfolded into an affair that lasted for at least three months. Oh no, I'm, it wasn't just once? By I've, Nin's account. I mean, touched is definitely right. Yeah. Bloody hell. Yeah. Part tribute to uh, the father, part seduction narrative, part confession. This is a story that resists categorization. No, it's... <laughs> no, no, it it's has incest, one. It's incest porn. Yeah. One specific, very specific category, actually. <laughs> I'm sorry, Anais, but this is. Oh this my is god! Awful. Yeah, this, this is, is insane. Absolutely awful. I'm, I'm so. Thanks for having me on the podcast, guys. It's <laughs> well, really welcome, good. welcome like... to roller coaster rides on the Eurocentrist train. <laughs> Another comedian is interested in being on the podcast. Don't He'll be on later. Be he was like, he was like. Paul better not pick something for me that's porn related. Congratulations, Em. You got the porn. Yay. You got the porn. Yeah, I got the daddy issues, the porn, the insert. I got everything. Yeah. <laughs> My the, episode is yeah. filled with lots of twists and turns. The yes. degeneracy. Yeah. Yeah, definitely twisted. Yeah, because that's what we think of when we think of you, Emily. Is we think <laughs> of degeneracy high. when you bring up your duck fat. Our twisted sister. Our, Our twisted, twisted sister. Ah, <laughs> oh, Breen. Our twister. My boy. All right. Decad Breen. Decades later, Anais' second husband, Rupert Paul, uh, theorist that RuPaul? <laughs> yeah, RuPaul. <laughs> RuPaul Drag Race. <laughs> RuPaul. It's, it's RuPaul. <laughs> <laughs> now that is a fucking plot twist. If it was RuPaul. Second sorry, husband, sorry, Rupert sorry, Paul, Paul, theorized that she had slept with her father so she could then abandon him just as he had once abandoned her. Because how else would you rationalize that? If yeah. you, if it it should be mentioned that the truth of Anais' affair with her father has been doubted due to the entry's language being too literary and over the top for her real life account. But given that real life accounts of your uh, father becoming your daddy are exceedingly rare by nature, that's neither here nor there, if you ask me. Also, have you read anything else she's written? She <laughs> yeah. only has one way to write. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She only uses these big words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. again, and also being, yeah. Oh clearly God. like to a degree also self-traumatizing yeah like yeah. i wouldn't write if i had just but I'm, I'm not gonna put actually i'm not gonna put this audio clip out there but yeah. if i had done what she had done yeah i would not be right i would not be writing in my diary as that was a normal day like yeah dear diary today yeah. i had I, some nice lunch today <laughs> I, I undid many years of therapy <laughs> 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 just to get back at my dad apparently yes. <laughs> no no but okay but anyway, she. This is the. You can see the pain of yeah. her having slept with her dad. Mm. Oh, hello. Her yeah, there she is. That's it. Hello. It's yeah. just okay. Yeah. Anyway, Anais found out she was pregnant in April 1934. Though okay, open to wait, the no, she has a husband now. It's not her dad. Yeah, yeah, it's not the dad. It's not Though her. open to the idea of being a mother, she was unwilling to put pressure on Henry Miller, whom she took for the father, or to upset either her husband or Otto Rank, with whom she had naturally started an affair by then. <laughs> so she went for an abortion. Oh, okay. It okay. failed and she later suffered a painful miscarriage. Oh, okay, well, no. at least she didn't bring that baby in. Yeah. No. Her oblivious husband visited her in hospital, as did Henry and Otto, and her cousin Eduardo, whom she might have been shagging as well. <laughs> do, we, do we actually have reason to believe that she might have been fucking her brother? 
uh, no, or is that cousin, just a joke? Cousin, or cousin still. Is, do we actually have reason? <laughs> we, in to France, knows? that would be legal at that point. So, but did that happen? Is the it question? It might. So at, at this point, given the other amount, because like what, I, I found just you with her track record, husband and then Otto Rank, who she now is having an affair. It's like who? It, <laughs> it's just every time a new yeah. male person, or you know anyone is mentioned, it's mm-hmm. like 50-50 chance this is a new affair. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hypersexuality <laughs> is a very common. Yeah. Oh, she she might be effect. a sex addict too, yeah. It's a very common trauma response mm-hmm. to right. molestation, which right. is what makes this very Ooh, very yes. hard for me to laugh at, admittedly. <laughs> this is <laughs> sorry, that made me laugh. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, Paul. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I'm no, a monster. Paul, I'm sorry. Awful. That's a good point. I'm glad that think... you can laugh for me because I'm not. I didn't think laughing. of it that way. Oh yeah. no. Okay. I, yeah. That's a that's a very good point. Yeah. Oh god. Mm. I thought everyone was thinking this. No, that's why no. I didn't say it. No, no. I wasn't good thinking points. it. Mary. Okay. Oh wow. Right. This podcast is about to become. Woo. Absolutely. Now you guys see why I'm so like horrified and yeah. dejected, just like sitting here. Mm-hmm. So after, now you can experience it. <laughs> after recovery, Anais decided to try some psychoanalyzing herself and accompanied Otto Rank to New York to work as his assistant. However, she found herself quite unsuited for the job and returned to Paris in 1935. I keep banging the patients. <laughs> no, I don't know. But <laughs> that would be like, I'm unsuited I've, for this. I've banged every old man yeah. in this <laughs> no. hospital. <laughs> I need... <laughs> I broke three hips already. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you you don't have three hips. You only have in series. Uh, yes, consecutively. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about her own hip. Oh, like, oh, she broke her own <laughs> hip. Fucking that. Uh, that is now that's dedication. No, but when you said three, and I was like, huh? Uh, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> other, other, hips? other old man's hips. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but uh, the dedication is definitely <laughs> noted. <laughs> But, uh, All right, and returned to Paris in 1935, where she soon started an affair with Peruvian journalist Gonzalo Moore. This is going to be a long fucking list. <laughs> yeah. The following year, she published published her first novel, The House of Incest. <laughs> She's just oh capitalizing. Hey guys, step right up to the plate. <laughs> yeah. I fucked my father yeah. like consecutively a- for three months. <laughs> Come here, extra, oh, no. tall, get her all here. about it. Come here and learn all about the exapades I come have. One, with come on, come all. Yeah, I to my, imme- me and my dad. <laughs> yeah. I feel immediately very uncomfortable about making any jokes about She's this. She's making like- a sideshow of her own mm-hmm. trauma, which I... I can imagine. Maybe this is also a way of her working through it. That's what I'm thinking. I could see mm. that being a response to yeah. uh, what she's been through, but it's also just mm-hmm. how do you rash? No, because this is like this is some influencer shit. I was mm. about to say she's like a TikToker who like is going through like a really bad time of it and turns it into content. No, but I mean like, like there's a reason why I've, I've been like she would lo- have loved social media. Oh, mm. her apology video. Her he, apology video. He pulls video. out on a ukulele. Yeah. <laughs> Date this video even further. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> it might be another ukulele in five years. There uh, will absolutely be yeah. another ukulele. World War Two being be scary me for be apologizing for being on this podcast <laughs> and for laughing. I'm gonna start toxic gossip train. <laughs> yeah. It was Paul and Ashlyn. <laughs> also, by the way, I'm sorry because now you're gonna get copyright striked by her because she's been copyright yeah. striked. Really? Yeah. No. Yeah. Do you, you not can... know about this? Oh no. About oh, that no. makes she, sense. She copyright struck H3H3. Yeah. Just like you can just bleep it. You can yeah. just like when I start singing, you can I say toxic uh, and then. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but I so, think it's only the original audio, right? Covers are fine. Uh, no, I think they also did that to a cover. I, oh I don't shit! Know. Okay, I could be mistaken. I, I, I have could be no wrong. idea. Like, all right, yeah. back to topic. Okay, topic. Quote: time. World War Two being scary and all, Anais moved back to New York in early 1940, settling in Greenwich Greenwich Village, where a whole community of artists lived. Oh. Anais' own words about her experience with the Empire City. Quote. New York was a tremendous, violent contrast to Paris. <laughs> Such an impersonal city. I was at first completely uprooted, and then I began to know another New York, the fraternity of artists again. The world that I always depended on was recreated once again. The sculptor Noguchi, Edmund Wilson, the distinguished literary critic and writer Francis Stelloff, her Gotham book Mart became a favorite meeting place because it was the only friendly bookshop in New York. She's just sort of doing everything for the plot, isn't she? I kind of get it. 
<laughs> she's living an artist life. Yeah. Uh, she's absolutely living her life. But, oh, my God. Mm -hmm. What an interesting person. Crazy. Yes. I'm very... Again, this was one of the reasons was... Yes. Thank why you. I wanted to pick her. Thank you, Ben, for yes. all the research. Yeah, oh, thank you, That ben. must have been a tough read. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, going, going for that fucking original <laughs> research. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, verify oh if something God. is incest or not. <laughs> That's like the... Ruining your research history. Yeah. <laughs> That's like the people who work for Facebook who, like, content moderate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we talked about... Oh, my God. This would be someone's... This would have been... Going through all this content would have been Anais's dream job. Yeah, you mm -hmm. need to pay it's Ben therapy. Fees now, like. <laughs> Again, he said it was, it was super interesting to him. All right. He was very interested. What's, uh -huh. that, the, what's that box? Nothing. Don't worry about oh. it. Yeah. Don't worry about <laughs> it. Don't I, worry about it. Nothing in the box. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Nothing to see. Let's just put it live on camera. Wait, you're going to make a problem over here? <laughs> yes. <Okay. laughs> I am a problem. Right. Unable to find a publisher for her books, Anais founded... I wonder why. <laughs> Anais founded Gamma Press with her lover, Gonzalo. The printing press she bought wasn't exactly state-of-the-art, meaning she had to hand-set and hand-print everything. Bloody oh. hell, that's dedication. Starting right. with her 1942 novel, Winter of Artifice. Like many of her books, illustrated by her cuckolded husband's engravings under the name Ian Hugo. Quote, <laughs> Winter of Artifice took eight months to hand-set. Jesus Christ. I forget how many months it took to print. <laughs> we were printing Ian Hugo's engravings in the William Blake method, which means Bloody which hell. means that each time you print an engraving, you have to wipe the ink off and ink it again. So it is a very slow medieval a romantic process which i really loved i'm probably the only writer who wept when i got a formal commercial contract with a publisher because i felt the books wouldn't be as beautiful and stand and instead of celebrating i wept she's a self-publishing queen mm. She, mm. she's a queen again yeah well she's she didn't stop she she actually just became more royal by fucking her dad <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 that is true <laughs> yeah, yeah she, she <laughs> she's achieved blue blood status in the sense that that blood is extremely muddled kid comes kid comes out with a gigantic chin yeah <laughs> <laughs> lives in a paper some basket. hills have eyes she, yeah, yeah. yeah do you want i can do the hills have too many eyes do you want me to a royal fact I can go. I can do a royal fact. A royal want. family fact. If, if yeah. something hor horrible happens, but we're oh, yeah, okay, we're, 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 we're closing okay, in yeah, to we the end. To save. We need to. We're save. closing yeah, into we're the, in the end. Final here. stretch. Yes. Gamma we, Press. Wait, we lit the climax of this episode is literally when she climaxed with her dad. <laughs> there we go. You can joke about it. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> See, I, I I've can't. now I've taken. You made it roles. over the finishing I line. I did it. I the, made it over the. The, the roles have now swapped. <laughs> yeah. Now that you said what you said, I'm like, I'm like, no, I I've, don't know what to feel about this, and you're you like. Are, Ah! I've unburdened <laughs> myself with this, so now I can be like, ha, just like you fucked your dad. <laughs> hey. the, the apex predator of this podcast is you, apparently. <laughs> uh, daddy issue, recognize daddy <laughs> issue. <laughs> My parents are dead, though. Okay, I didn't fuck them. <laughs> just for the record. I never had the chance. <laughs> <laughs> For legal okay, reasons, I'm not touching this with a five foot barge pole. <laughs> like, I'm literally not away. touching. Yeah, t <laughs> touching is the, the bad touch, yeah. Uh, Gam Gamma Press went out of business in 1947, no. ending Anais' love affair with Gonzalo Moore. <laughs> <laughs> this is like this is like the last episode where they I knew why it took months to fucking print something. They were just railing each other yeah. in the printing room, absolutely hamming at each yeah. other. <laughs> this is like uh, when uh, um, uh, Bernardo and uh, Juan McKenna yeah. would just stop speaking to each other. Carrera, For, Carrera, yeah, yeah, yeah. Carrera. They're just like I'm not speaking to yeah. you anymore. <laughs> we have I'm a just... civil war going on on top of a revolutionary yeah. war, but we're not talking. The business anymore. is collapsing, but also I won't fuck you anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even look like my dad anymore. I'm sorry, that's fucked up. While allegedly having countless love affairs with women and much younger men at the time, Anais also found time for writing pornographic short stories and acting in the experimental short films, the mm. first of which was a Ritual in Transfigured Time in 1946, directed by her friend Maya Darren, but found real success only when she started publishing her diary in 1966, as it contained real-life accounts of so 
many famous artists. Yeah, she would have. <laughs> she probably made a killing in the '60s. Mm-hmm. She's like, uh, she's like the Edward Snowden of celebrity affairs. <laughs> just like, uh, <laughs> doxing everybody. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, it's like I will release this list of all the, the un- people. The yeah. nice papers. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, this reminds me more of the. The WikiLeaks is my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> no, Paul. That, no. that would be... No, not uh, funny. No, no, it is very it's funny. Ver- it's very entertaining. But it's Fuck also... The be- <laughs> but that's the name of a Fall Out Boy song. Is WikiLeaks... It? No, I'm kidding, but it sounds oh, okay. like the name of a song. <laughs> <laughs> WikiLeaks is my pussy. No, but uh, it reminds me of when Lindsay Lohan released like a list of all the like famous people she ever fucked. And mm. like, a bunch of people... Like Joaquin Phoenix, fucking yeah. Heath Ledger. Like so many people were on that list. Mm. That's what I'm picturing. Oh, this yeah, is Yeah, she's the hot. Lindsay Lohan of she's the She's the Lilo of yeah. the 1960s. Whoa. She was also... <laughs> who was the one who released Literary the Literary Lohan. Literary, Literary Lohan. Lohan. Yeah. Who released what? The Candle. Was that... Lin- that wasn't... No, the, that's Britney. The, the, Britney Spears. The Candle, the one that s- smells of... Oh, no, that's Goop. The <laughs> pussy smelling candle is goop. Yeah, uh, oh, one, that's Gwyneth Paltrow. Gwyneth yeah. Paltrow. Okay. That's not no, that's even goop. remotely. Yeah. I don't know anything That's not her. About, that's okay. her company. I, okay. Still. It's, she didn't make the candle. She promoted it. Yeah. And it was a terrible product and it exploded. Did yeah. it? They had, it mani- had manufacturing errors. Yeah. That's so funny that a pussy <laughs> is exploding. <laughs> a candle. My yeah. pussy be popping. <laughs> so, yeah. Some, yeah, exactly. Some pervert being like, oh, I really want this candle. And, it and like then it hot powder. wax. And then just, just open facial the thing and just instant karma. Just yeah. Boom. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Good. Good. Okay. Also, it was an overpriced product uh, from a shitty company so, so she, that mistreats its workers. Yeah, she released her sexual memoirs mm-hmm. in 1966, mm-hmm. um, not by herself. She had someone else publish it, or uh, did she self self release? Uh, to self title. I'm guessing because she said that she got a commercial contract of, with contract with a publisher. This is probably like Penguin. <laughs> Penguin, Penguin <laughs> books, <laughs> the new title, <laughs> list of Reclam, people this one Reclam. person has had sex with. <laughs> Goethe, Goethe, Goethe. Wor- works of Goethe and then Anais yeah. by it's, Reclam. It's like, it's like a su- supplementary. Yeah. <laughs> That's like finding out the Fifty Shades of Grey is Criterion Collection. Yeah. <laughs> it's is, not, This is probably way. way better written oh, than... Oh, for sure. I mean, anything is better written than Fifty Shades. Like, so many things. Yeah. Maybe Maybe a Stephen King novel, even. Callback. All right. By by a very very time. You know what? <laughs> fight, 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 fight. The Shining is definitely better than <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey. You can see the life. Yeah, going out of I can't. I can't eyes. even be. I can't deny. Yeah, yeah that is. Really yeah, bad. exactly. See, I'm still a hater, though. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm I, still I understand drinking that. that. <laughs> All right. All right. So she publishes, self-publishes her, and then she gets published. Yeah. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah. But so her book is out. Yeah. Do we know anything about critical reception? We'll see. Uh, sorry. That's guys. why I'm asking. Yeah. yeah. Back in 1947, Anais fell in love with and soon secretly got married to Rupert Paul, 17 years her junior, and moved with him to California. Continuing the cycle of abuse. Well, semi moved. She still had that other husband dude in New York who quit his job what? as a banker in 1949. They're still, still together. There. They're still together. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> to, become, to become an artsy filmmaker as Ian Hugo. <laughs> so Anais split her time between the American coasts and her two husbands. This is like having a TV show where the first season you introduce a character and they just disappear for like three seasons and then they just <laughs> magically appear. The husband is still there. Yeah. <laughs> she must have so so much dirt on this husband. She, she, she also the juggling act, and he's because he knows he has to know. Yeah, he has to know, like she's right. Re- oh, <laughs> they're willfully ignorant. Like they're, they're like, I don't want to see. I don't want to hear. I know she's just but gonna fuck why, around anyways. Why stay with somebody? Like either he loves her or he did something really bad. Could also know. be both. I don't know. That's just so weird. Cause like, why would you stay? I don't know. We don't know enough about the the husband. She know. seems. She yeah. again. She seems. Except for the father fucking. She seems like a really interesting person. <laughs> Paul, okay. Very interesting person. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Actually, this this makes a lot of sense that yeah. he wants to keep keep her around. How 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 else would you get back in the forties a freak in the sack? You know, like. You roll the dice bef- with with your partners, you know, back then because you never really like got to know them, know them before marriage. Yeah. So he's just like, 
this is the woman that actually sucks my dick really well. Yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm not doing better. I went to three halls and they all fucked it up. So you know, she sort of like gender swapped like Lord Byron, but French. Because oh, yes. Lord Byron had like a he was. Well, I'm he had surprised a you have, No, like he he was quite known for being a bit of a. He was a you know, fuck boy, but like a cast. Well, no, Casanova was a fuck boy. You know, like, that's Contessa like, Byron. Yeah, like Ooh, <laughs> Contessa Byron. Nice. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's hot. I wanna. <laughs> it's not I bad, right? I, I would much rather fuck Contessa. You, you want Bro. the Netflix rights to me. <laughs> yes. I'm writing it now. In my no, All right. Uh, <laughs> so she's uh, juggling husbands, California and New mm -hmm. York. California. Allegedly, Hugo was blissfully unaware of his wife's double life, thinking she needed her months in California for a recovery. More likely, he deliberately ignored the truth. Yeah, like, recovery how can he not what? have read the books? Like, that's a, if your wife is publishing, you're a bit of a terrible husband if you haven't read any Recovering of from how sucky New York is. <laughs> you know what? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I was just like recovery from what? Yeah, I, I mean she she likes like the the, the more southern Cuba yeah. all that stuff. So why California live in New York at the, all at this point? Maybe the job, just money, job, the art scene there. She still loves the people that are there. You know, yeah, she fair. has probably eighteen hundred lovers there. You know, <laughs> she's never gonna be lack lacking company. Yeah. That's true. <clears throat> okay, yeah. Anais had to undergo surgery in 1953 to have her tumor removed and oh. again in 1966, shortly before the publication of the first volume of her diary. In 1969, nice, the doctors found Thanks, yet Paul. another tumor, in, tumor <laughs> in her abdomen that couldn't be surgically removed. In spite of this, the last decade of her life was largely a happy one finally getting recognized for her work and being invited to hold countless lectures, often with over a thousand in attendance, Bloody hell. which she much enjoyed. Receiving an honorary doctor's degree in 1973, she starred in a one-hour documentary film about her the following year. Also in 1974, she underwent her final surgery, but the cancer proved unstoppable. She kept phone contact with Ian Hugo, but never saw him again, as Rupert Paul carried, uh, cared for her in her final uh, bedridden years. She died of cervical cancer on January 14, 1977, shortly before her 74th birthday. The Los Angeles Times named Rupert Paul as her widower, the <laughs> snubbing the other guy. <laughs> the New York Times, Hugh Geiler. <laughs> Two different names in the newspapers. Let's <laughs> 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 get your facts straight. <laughs> this is Hollywood, baby. They know. They know. They know she be fucking. Oh, no. <laughs> if you, if you uh, subscribe to both of them and you read them, and you're, Wait, wait, wait a minute. This is inconsistent. There's a, there's a Pepe Sylvia style yeah, yeah, meme exactly. where it's like, the Oh, perfect. Carol! Rupert! <laughs> that there is, is amazing. No, there, there is no Hugo. There is uh, no Ian, whatever the fuck his name is. East Coast, West Coast. <laughs> also, isn't he British too? The other guy? I the Ian guy? Well, the banker one. Yeah. I thought we established he was American, but brought up in Puerto Rico. Yeah. Oh, yeah, true, yeah, yeah, yeah. true. Okay, I'm confusing him with someone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, she had an illustrious life, you know? Yeah. She died in 74. Like, she she had a she, bloody uh, life. 77. She 70 was 74. Oh. She, yeah. And she did not, no formal education? Well, she never finished, yeah. And she got a honorary doctorate degree yeah. people are listening pretty to awesome right oh because she fucked her dad <laughs> <laughs> no i'm kidding you obviously. can get a doctor's degree with this one easy trick <laughs> <laughs> and tell everyone about it and leave no details left untouched <laughs> yeah every if you it turns out if you just shit like if you're just a chronic oversharer they'll give you a doctorate degree <laughs> well, God, we're gonna see so many new doctorates now like we're gonna <laughs> next few years it's gonna be like every person yeah, yeah. With <laughs> I mean, think about it. If you're like a test subject, she's kind of a mad scientist in a way. Mm. But like, she's, Sorry, she's a mad cow. Well, because she's doing the experiments on herself. I don't think she what sees them happen? as experiments, though. I think she she sort of, you know, it's like you me, me going me going to the shops is not an experiment, and to, like. 
you know, me doing things that I would do anyway is not an experiment. No, if you're the kind of person that's like really sexually adventurous, a lot of people would be okay, like, oh no, I want to, I want to, okay, yeah, that's enough. what I'm talking okay, about. Yeah, and she used herself and she docu she writes it down. That's yep, science. It it's and only I'm guessing science it if you write becoming it down. popular in the 60s yes. with the sexual liberation yeah. thing. This probably added to that. I, where, yeah, where I people told you were she would have loved the 60s. But also where people would be like, look, even 40 years ago, they tried it already. Yeah. And society destroyed it. We, we have to try again. Yeah. Like, I bet you that also added to that. Where the people found yeah. le legitimacy of Through their own. Her, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's so, I, I Super love interesting. this one. I love yeah. this one. Super interesting. All right, continuing. We have only have a few more sentences. <clears throat> According to her wish, Paul cast her ashes from a helicopter into the Pacific Ocean. Why'd you do that? Nice. <laughs> did he like scatter them or did he just throw the jar? <laughs> <laughs> From a cannon, you know. <laughs> I'm That's how I want to go. Those t-shirt guns, you know, oh, that they no. have at concerts. Who wants a nice? <laughs> She's like, no, like, that's nice, though. Yeah, she was like, I want to go back to the sea. Since, mm -hmm. since Paul, I was picturing all of that, but Paul was doing that. <laughs> <laughs> since it's the last, right? Or RuPaul, <laughs> either or. Since RuPaul Anna's death. Someone's ashes <laughs> <laughs> since Anna's death, countless films, including at least one porno, oh. based on her diary and short stories have been released. Only one? Incli yeah, including only one. <laughs> Including Philip Kaufman's 1990 film Henry and June Touched. from the unexpurgated diaries of Anais Nin, and she was continued to receive ne recognition for her work. They should have just called it declassified. Last quote Aww. and end of the story <clears throat> from Anais Nin. I was born under the sign of Pisces. I am a Pisces. We know. Pisces, <laughs> ruled by Neptune, Typical the planet Pisces. of illusion, is the sign of the actor. The design of it is two fishes, one going upstream, the other going downstream. And so Pisces is very dual. Whenever I, fe whenever I felt I had to choose between, I always ended up by taking them in, harmonizing them and fusing them into one. I never wanted to choose one against the other. Hmm. What a fucking interesting person. Yeah, one absolute absolute shit show that was. <laughs> that was when I came in this afternoon was like last week was like, hey, would you like to do the podcast? Yeah. I think we've we found a topic that would be great for you. And the topic that was great for me was whatever the last two hours of my life just was. <laughs> Look, that you was a good time. Was, you call it a, I yeah, call no, no. it a good time. I, 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 you're, you're more than welcome to invite me back. But yeah. Christ, I was not expecting that. Like, yes. Neither the fuck was I. Don't blame this on me. I didn't know. No, the Eurocentrist. <laughs> I, if I had known just how much daddy issues would be in this podcast. The maximum amount, literally. There's, there is no more issue you The only get thing missing is dad. she murdered him afterwards like that would be the conclusion of that we don't daddy know issue. we don't know that, <laughs> oh, yeah, that he didn't disappeared yeah, he, <laughs> went, he went missing he just we just don't know where he's at no but that's like that's like a horror movie yeah like, that's a but like oh man this is this is the first like subject we've had in the podcast that i actually i think is both entertaining and i actually like them as a person mm -hmm. like respect them as yeah. a person mm, right because like my opinion has changed from the first quote I, my opinion has changed yeah 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 because i didn't know what i was expecting what well, changed from what to what? from from being pretentious or what what no what was from your... unknown to known mm, well very that, deep, that happened to all of us just like <laughs> that <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're getting. Sorry, yeah, Ashton, I interrupted you. I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, I really liked An Anais Nin. Mm -hmm. um, Miss Nin, yeah. Miss Nin. Miss, Miss, I'm gonna fuck so many dudes that I'm not gonna remember who I fuck. And women. <laughs> and women, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was a bi icon. Bi -con. Yeah, bi -con. bi -con, yeah. Bi -con. Love her. Y2K queen. We <laughs> not, putting not, putting the by in Byron, yeah, exactly. Yeah, putting she, the by yeah. in Byron. I am just. This is my favorite type of episode where the majority of the quotes are, are from her. Are from her. Yep. Where we get some serious insight into. Well done, Ben. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you, Ben. Thank you ben. did a bang up, bang up job. A bang up job. Yeah, <laughs> not really. It, 
No, but seriously, yeah, you should. Well be. done, Ben. This is this. The, you were not kidding that this was spicy as hell. Yeah, yeah good like that. This is. Good, good that we waited. We, yes. we he edged us with this He edged us, <laughs> just like she edged all of those men probably <laughs> at oh, some the, point. The blue balls they had when she left. Oh, that's what that's what her husband must have been living through yeah. the whole time. Yeah. I love I love that even at the end of all of it, he's not a beneficiary. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's her fucking mistress. <laughs> it's it's her si- it's her side piece. Yeah, yeah. Same difference. Gender doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, but still, especially for a nice name. <laughs> I'm also very sorry to both of you because you're gonna have to edit the. I've been keeping an eye on the levels of mine in particular. Oh, you're peaking up. You oh no, a, a, I, not a, a only peaking, times. but also like occasionally I've. Seen seen it go suspiciously like small yeah yeah because you moved away slowly over time yeah and I, then you, the, the you, you ask was... someone with adhd to sit down for two hours mm. and listen how to... do you think i feel i've been moving around my microphone this entire time oh so. i haven't because i i've been holding the yamaha piano by the way you can sponsored. have that huh? you, you can have that if you want to Aww. to play around at least with it yay <laughs> <laughs> Emily's got a new do toy. Emily, do, do before a... before we we close this up, Emily, can I can I do a noise? Sure. That's the same noise we go. just heard. I know. Where where can people find you? Hello. Um. Well, preferably not at my house. Um. Please. Yeah, what, where is that? What's your address? So digitally. <laughs> um. At so Emily Thornhill. So mm-hmm. it's at M E T comedy E M M Y T C O M E D Y. In case mm-hmm. you didn't know how to spell comedy, and that's I think my TikTok and my Instagram, and I do a nice fun queer show with Ashlyn and another cool comedian with me with yes. Ashlyn. That's yes. my American accent. Do you want to hear my American accent? Yeah, do. I already okay. did. Thank you. Do you, want to, hear, do, you want, to, do you want to hear it again? Do more. Will Emily say her American accent on next week's show? Will Paul finally decide to buy two cows from the man in the flat downstairs? And will Ashlyn, I don't know, buy? Wait, oh, the buy? beef. <laughs> uh, was, was that a beef callback to the beginning with the cow jokes? Cow joke. I forgot. I what? made cow jokes. I yeah, we made we, like, we made in the first fifteen minutes. You I guys made a bunch oh, of cow yeah, jokes. Was, I just sort of ha- sat there. Yay, cow. So, anyways, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Bye. See you I, in two I, weeks for I a new episode. See you in two weeks with a see new fascinating with the topic yes. and topic. a new fun guest and a new fun guest. But fest. they will not be as fun because they don't have the keyboard. I yes. don't want to steal your keyboard. I feel no, bad. no, no, no. It's it's been underused. So, uh, thank you so much and bye.